Tuesday, September 12th. Ivor the Timber Dog and I are back at Freestone. We are beginning the next phase and we are beginning the tending portion of the current job here and that means taking care of the the new forest um, that's left after we've done the logging and that will come after the, the logging. Uh, it is just a gorgeous night by the way, you can probably tell that. So this is the mature timber that we left and we also left patches of of younger timber, aspen there in the background, birch right here, fair amount of oak. But what we're really looking for today is uh, white pine and red oak regen and uh, it wouldn't have already come from uh, a response from the logging but it's the advanced regen that, that was present at the time and uh, it was impossible to see through the brush that was in here to know really what was here. And uh, there's a bonus tree, a little white pine that I found and I bud capped. And that happens to be right in the middle of the harvest activity, right in the skid, tr skid trail. And there's another one in the skid trail. And most of what I've been able to find is off to the side of the skid trail. Um, we're not we're not bug capping every one because there are so many of them and we've got to just spend our time covering as many areas as we can. So I'm already starting to develop spacing based on the confidence learning over the years that uh, that the trees that we choose to take care of they have a high probability of of surviving and so rather than doing every one we're going to trust that we can have a high success rate with the ones that we do do. Um, I'm kind of missing one in this area. I've got one there, 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 over there, but I, I need to get one of these right here. So I'll show you how we do this. About three staples. Make sure you get quite a few needles. Did I do okay, Ivor? Here's a spot where there are half a dozen trees that survived the direct logging hit. Um, what the logging didn't destroy them. The logging did nothing but help their case because you see all this brush with the torn ends? Those were all torn off cut off by the head of the harvesting machine and that is a very expensive tool to use to clear brush but it is the right tool. We're here cutting trees anyway and uh, Ross taking the time to mow this hazel brush down over the top of the regen that was in here is just absolute bonus because every one of these trees is one that we won't have to plant and based on the inventory that I'm taking right now um, the white pine along with the uh, red oak that's already coming in uh, is, uh, is going to be adequate when combined with the white pine and new red oak that are, that are going to come in next year and the year after. So if we can just stay ahead of the new batch of brush and keep the timber uh, ahead of the, of the brush or the competition, we're going to have a fully stocked uh, white pine red oak birch uh, and red pine stand here. Initially we're going to have a bit of a spacing issue. We have fewer trees in the heavily skidded areas and there were fewer trees here to begin with because this is where the worst brush was. Um, but nonetheless I'm looking for every single salvageable tree in these in these skid areas and I'm finding a few but I got to really work hard to find them. Here's a spot where there were two and I took the uh, what I thought was the stronger of the two. Um, the oak is starting to show up. I'm not seeing a ton of it but it, it definitely is here. Um, it's not, None of it is new from uh, from seed or acorn but is all a uh, response from the root system like that there. That, that's uh, new oak growth coming out of that shoot or that the root of that um, snapped off or cut off stem. And 
There's an old, old white pine stump from probably the first time we threw, we, that we thinned through here and took the smallest and the, and the poorest, left the best. And we've been here through here three times now. And what we've got left for mature trees are the best of the best and nearly all, the, all of the white pine because we, we need that white pine here for the final um, seed source. And then the next time we're gonna we're gonna remove a good share of this canopy and just leave a few a few scattered remnants because by then we're gonna want lots of sunlight. But that'll be quite a few years down the road, and know these uh, white pine especially will respond and continue to grow really big. We'll probably get some 24 to 28 inches out of here, maybe even a few 31 to 32 inches mm -hmm. like that one over there.